America's victory in World War II was not only a military triumph, it was an historic achievement by American manufacturing. Seemingly overnight, America's factories rallied to the nation's defenses, producing most of the weapons and equipment for U.S. and allied forces. America's entrepreneurs were the engine behind this miracle of industrial production. A key figure in this story was Henry J. Kaiser. Kaiser founded more than 100 companies in his lifetime. Like many great business achievers, he hailed from humble beginnings. He was born in 1882 in Sproutbrook, New York. His parents were German immigrants. His father was a shoemaker. Kaiser's first job, at 13, was in a general store as a stockroom and delivery boy. Intrigued by the emerging field of photography, he started working as an apprentice. By age 20, he was running a photo studio. But the young man had grander ambitions. In 1914, he founded his own road paving business, Henry J. Kaiser Company Limited. His firm was among the earliest to use heavy construction machinery. He had a knack for completing projects on time and under budget. His efficiency and innovative ways enabled him to accomplish remarkable feats, such as successfully building roads through the jungles of Cuba. But the big breakthroughs came in the 1930s. Kaiser's firm was one of the six companies constructing the spectacular Hoover Dam on the Colorado River. Kaiser's genius really flourished in World War II. America needed a massive number of ships to transport military cargo to Europe and Asia. But building a single one took as long as eight months. Kaiser tossed many traditional shipbuilding practices out the window. He had sections of ships welded together instead of riveted. This helped cut production time for a single vessel to under three weeks. Kaiser's Liberty ships were crucial to the Allied victory. After the war, he branched out still further. Kaiser became a contributor to the 1950s boom in consumer products such as dishwashers. He even went into the auto business. But here, Kaiser did not bring the kind of innovation to car making that he did with shipbuilding. His venture was a failure. He continued working on another project. Joining forces with a young surgeon, Dr. Sidney Garfield, Kaiser built an unprecedented program. Hospital services were financed by getting insurance companies to pay a fixed amount per worker up front. This pool of money allowed Kaiser to provide workers with a full range of health services at minimal cost. It was the start of prepaid health care. Today, the company serves over 12 million members. There is no way to include all of Henry Kaiser's countless achievements. Critics of Henry Kaiser have complained that he profited from government cronyism. He was indeed skilled at working with government, but the source of his phenomenal success was his ability to do things faster, better, and cheaper. Henry J. Kaiser gave us innovations in healthcare, shipbuilding, almost everything he did. I'm Steve Forbes.